Hey guys, welcome back to another interesting topic. Today's topic is on how to multiply assigned binary numbers using Booth's algorithm. So before going to the topic, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on. And if you have any doubts, comment down below. I'll respond within 24 hours. So to perform the multiplication in Booth's algorithm, you must convert a binary number in Booth's algorithm form. For that, you must know the following things. When we move from LSB to MSB, that means as you can see over here, we are at zero. When we are moving to one, that number will be represented as minus one in Booth's algorithm. And similarly, one to zero will be represented as one in Booth's algorithm. One to one, it is zero, and zero to zero, it is zero. Here, zero is positive. I hope you know that because in binary numbers, 0 is positive and 1 is negative when it is at MSB. So this movement is from LSB to MSB bit. So for better understanding, let's take an example and see how a binary number is represented in Booth's algorithm form. So now let us take this example of 7 and minus 7. This is represented in binary number. Now it will be converted in a Booth's algorithm form. So I will add an extra zero for this number seven. This is the binary representation of seven and I will add an extra zero before proceeding. This zero has nothing value to it. No weight is attached to it. So now we are moving from LSB bit to MSB bit and will write in Booth's algorithm. So as you can see zero to one LSB to MSB. So we are moving from zero to one. So 0 to 1, what's the value? So 0 to 1, it's minus 1. So next value is from moving from 1 to 1. So 1 to 1, what's the value? It's 0. It's 0. So again 1 to 1. So what's the value from 1 to 1? So 1 to 1 is 0. Now let's move from 1 to 0. What's the value from 1 to 0? It's 1. So we got the binary value of 7 as 0, 1, 1 and 1 and it is represented as 1, 0, 0, minus 1 in Booth's algorithm. Now let's take an another example for better understanding. So minus 1 is represented as 1, 0, 0, 1 in binary form. So now let's convert this binary form to the Booth's algorithm form. For that, first you need to add an extra zero which has no value or no weight, it's just for the representation. So now we will move from LSB to MSB. That is from zero to one, that is one arrow, and one to zero, that is another arrow, zero to zero, that is one more, and zero to one. So as I said that when we move from zero to one, what's the value? That is minus one, okay? And when we move from 1 to 0, that's what? What is the value? That's 1 and 0 to 0, it's 0. And 0 to 1 again, that is minus 1. So minus 7 is represented as minus 1, 0, 1 and minus 1 in Booth's algorithm form. Now let's go for the multiplication. So these are the three examples which we will discuss in this multiplication. So first I'll go with this one and second with this one and third with this one. So now let's go with minus 5 cross 7. So to perform this multiplication, you must convert the minus 5 and 7 in the binary forms. So we need to represent the numbers in the binary form. So minus 5 is represented as 1, 0, 1, 1 and 7 as 0, 1 and 1 and 1. So here to perform its multiplication in Booth's algorithm, you need to convert the 7, the down value into the Booth's form. So to convert the Booth's form, I have given an example that is 7. How are we going to convert it? So I have shown you there. So we are going to convert it like this. So the Booth's form value of 7 is 1, 0, 0 and minus 1. So let's write it. So this value is converted like this as shown. So minus 1. To perform the multiplication with minus 1. So minus 1 into 1, 0, 1, 1. So it will be. First, we will need to multiply it with normal 1 and take 2's complement of it. 2's complement of it, it will be 1, 0, 1 and 0. 
So this is the value when you multiply it with minus one. I hope so now let's write it and get over it. So the value will be with minus one, it is one, zero, one and zero. Now let's go with zero. Just move a bit. That is one, two, three and four. And now another zero. There you go, four values again, zero and one. So one it is three values goes over here and it is one one zero one okay so this is the multiplication done so but the problem is that we need to sign extend it don't forget to sign extend it then it will be a problem for you but you need to sign extend it zero zero and zero now we need to add this whole value let's add this value so what will be the value it is one zero one and one and one and zero and one so this value is it should be minus 35 as you can see minus 5 into 7 is minus 35 so this value should be minus 35 so now let's calculate this value so it is 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 2 power 3 2 power 4 2 power 5 and 2 power 6 since it is in two's complement form so it will have sine as magnitude so the values is minus 64 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 and plus 1 that is minus 64 plus so this is the value which we are getting that is minus 64 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 1 that is minus 35 there we go we got our value of minus 5 into 7 that is minus 35 now let's take an another example that is phi into minus 7 and perform it the similar fashion and if you have if you have not understood this then let's go for making your topic more clear so phi into minus 7 that must be represented in the binary form that binary form phi is 0 1 and 0 1 and 7 it must be represented minus 7 it must be represented as which form the boots algorithm form and we have found the value of minus 7 in boots algorithm form as minus 1 0 1 and minus 1 so let's write it over here minus 1 0 1 and minus 1 now I have said you that if we are multiplying with minus 1 we need to multiply it with 1 and takes the two's complement of it so how does it looks so 0 1 0 is multiplied with 1 and then we need to take 2's complement of it so 0 1 0 will be same when we multiply it with 1 and let's take 2's complement of it it is 1 1 0 and 1 so this is the 2's complement value of 0 1 0 so now let's multiply it with 1 that is 1 0 1 and 0 now let's multiply it with 0 that is 1 2 3 and 4 now with minus 1 again you need to do the same process but I'm not showing you I'm writing the direct value I hope you are understand so here it is perfect don't forget to sign extend sign extension is very important when you are multiplying with the negative sign in front of your number that is represented it over here so sign extension is 0 then 0 over here and here it is 1 don't forget to extend it with 1 not 0 that is important while multiplying with sine binary numbers now let's add them so the value over here will be 1 that is 0 1 carry then it will be 1 over here 3 ones that will 1 and 1 carry over here 3 ones 1 over here and 1 carry 2 ones that is 0 over here 1 over here that will be 1 and if you it will be carry on no problem with it because the same value will be continued so it will be 1 1 and 1 if you want to check it you can write the extended values and check it so we are not caring about it till here it's fine so now let us look at the value we got so we got that is 0 2 power 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 that is what's this value 2 power 6 it is 64 that is minus value because we are representing in two's complement form don't forget its negative value 64 plus that is 2 power 4 it's 16 plus 8 and 2 power 1 it's 
2, 2 squared is 4 plus 4 and plus 1. So if you calculate this, you are getting what value? Minus 35. 5 into minus 7 is minus 35. Hope you got this. Now let's go for another example that is multiplying it with minus 5 and minus 7. So this is the third example. I hope you can do this on your own. Pause this video and do it on your own and check the results. I will do within two seconds. Pause it. Okay. I hope you have paused it and done the value. So now let's represent this minus 5 in binary value that is 1, 0 and 1 and minus 7 in Booth's algorithm form. So Booth's algorithm form is minus 1, 0, 1 and minus 1. So there you go. The value is minus 1, 0, 1 and minus 1. Let's multiply both of them. So for minus 1, we need to multiply this with number with 1 and then take 2's complement. Multiplying it with 1, we are getting this. And for 2's complement, we are getting the value as 1, 0, 1 and 0. So this is the value when you multiply with minus 1 with 1, 0, 1, 1. So it is 0, 1, 0, 1. Now with 1, the value is 1, 1, 0, 1. Again with 0, we got 2x and that is 1, 2, 3 and 4. With minus 1, the same values repeat over here. That is 1, 0, 1 and 0. So now let us sign extend it before adding. Sign extend before adding. That is 0 over here, 1 over here, 0 over here, 0 over here, 1 over here, 0 over here. And now let's add it. So when you add it, what will be the value? It will be 1, it will be 1, it will be 0 and 1 carry for the next bit. That is 1 plus 1, it is 0 and 1 carry, 1 plus 1, 0 and 1 will go over here and 3 ones. So 1 will be here and 1 will go over here. That is 0 and 1 will carry on. That will be not a problem and next values will be 0. So you can check it if you want it. And now let's calculate the value. This is 0, 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 1, 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3, 2 power 4, and 2 power 5. So 2 power 5 is 32, and 2 power 1 is 2 and 1. So 32 plus 2 plus 1. What's the value? It's 35. So minus 5 into minus 7 is 35. I hope you have understood how to multiply uh, signed binary numbers using a Booth's algorithm. And thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. And if you love this video, please don't forget to press that like button and hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed. Thanks for watching.